He's like, you be like, I can't wait till I get older. You go downstairs in your big mama house and she got a house full of motherfucking killers and drug dealers. They all strapped and they all in there having a good fucking time. They know not to pop nothing off in, in your big mama house because she was one of the ones. It, you know your big mama one of them ones when they give them, when they come in there strapped, uh-uh, put it in here. She got a little lock box for everybody to put all they motherfucking burners in a box. It ain't going to be no shooting in here, nigga. You lose this game, you take your losses, and you roll the fuck out. Where we at? Like, what's good? We're on, they, bitch, they used to drink peach schnapps with they fucking vodka. Fuck is you talking about? Mad dog with they vodkas and things. Bitch, Southern Comfort. Like, my grandma really drinks Southern Comfort. Like, bitch, what is you talking about? That ass. Um, you guys that's watching this live, can you please give the host? Real shit. SP grandmas don't play. That ass. Y'all, please give the host. Wait, Tinkerbell, I said white Irish rose, rose and 99 bananas. Y'all, please give the hose. Thank you, Smurf. I'ma just wait, y'all. Cause they starting to pile in here and they didn't, they not piling my motherfucking, they not doing them numbers right. No shade. Bitch, you, you know your big mama a hood staple, bitch, when she doing, when she running numbers. What the fuck is running numbers? I'll be really, really trying to try to explain to y'all sometimes how deep in a motherfucking hood and in the trenches I am, like how much of a Philly staple I am. This shit is generational. This shit is hereditary. Like I come from a long, like my family is, is passed down. So it's only right, bitch, I passed the torch. Okay, big ya ya, clear them out. I'm just gonna wait, ya ya. If they're on zero cents, please get them out. Please don't kick none of my gifters, but this, come on, this is too much. Um, thank you, Carmo. Um, all of my addressers, all of my um supporters, just give me a second. Let me let my admins clear up all the riffraff from up out of here. Um, because there's a lot of people that come in here and that really don't give and that just like to just watch. I mean, and that's okay, but you know, you don't have to really gift a lot. But if you come in here and you watching me, like just do something. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of people that come up, come in here and give that. And I, I'm, I, this is my second day back when I add. This can't go down like that. So give him a second thing. Oh, y'all, y'all, you doing your fucking big one. Oh, excuse me. I was never late tonight. Um, I miss you too. <laughs> miss fucking thing. <laughs> Wait, not I miss you, Fem Queen. You miss the Fem Queen, bitch. A f miss mother, a fem, a feminine queen. Ooh, bitch, a South Philly baddie with a fatty. Bitch, miss mother. <laughs> miss fucking thing. Gorilla, gorilla, gorilla. They definitely know the body. They know the body is official tissue. Um, let me okay, so y'all listen, I'm gonna continue on, but let me wait until y'all y'all clear all of these peoples out. I see a film. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you got me no wait hold on. <laughs> what 
Wait, who said that? Before you said it, you gotta go, oh my God, it is a femme queen in me. <laughs> like, you can't believe what you looking at. Like, oh my God, it's the femme queen in me. Like, you just surprised. Like, you just seen it for the first time. <laughs> like, you just saw it yourself for the first fucking time. It is a femme queen in me. Oh, oh my God. Like, <laughs> like, you gagging yourself. Like, bitch, like, you never noticed that she was a femme queen. It is a feminine queen inside of me. Oh, <laughs> yo, y'all is a fucking key. Y'all play too damn much. Um, thank you, my um, my four, my G baby. Um, y'all, all right, all right, yeah, yeah, yo, all right, slow, all right, slow up a little, a little tad. All right, y'all, wait, where we left off at? You guys, seriously, it is almost six hundred people in here. Can everybody please send a bean or like five beans? Like, bitch, that's like one cent. Like, please, y'all, come on. Don't fuck up my live quality, y'all. Like, dead ass. If you watching me, like, just give the host. Like, so I don't have to keep saying this. So I don't feel like I'm fucking on here begging and panhandling and things. Like, what is tea? Bitch, I want y'all to enjoy the motherfucking show. Bitch, I don't want to kick y'all. Thank you, Isaiah. Who, who is you? I think they might have went away. Thank you so much, um, my G, my G baby. Um, thank you, my queen, Miss Queen Pen. <laughs> Love you, sister. Thank you. Y'all, where did I leave off at? Um, thank you, lady. Um, wait, Lady. Wait, thank you, Ladeda, forty-four. I hope I didn't fuck your name up. Um, thank you, my four, my G baby. Um, you guys, I am literally four thousand beans away from my first box, and I need to get to three. I am going to get on here and clown with y'all tonight, but y'all know I like to start it off slow. You know I gotta give y'all positive tea, positive feedback. Then it turns into a key, and then it turns into a straight clown. Y'all, fuck with me, bitch. This is my second day back on the app. Thank you. I love you, sister. You beautiful bitch. My orbs. I said bros. Atlanta has been like that. Don't play with it. The new queen. Bros, is you available for... Is you available for a fem queen panel? Like in about another half an hour? Yes, I definitely can do one. Who said that? Alec? Yes, I definitely can do that. Let me see, hold on. Hi. Hi. He said hi already, what's tea? I live in Uzbekistan. Bitch, what? Uzbekistan. First of all, what, the, what is wrong with your teeth? And what the fuck is wrong with old boy headline? Yeah. Bitch, fuck you. What is wrong with his headline? Like, what? What is, what is wrong with your friend's headline? What? what is, why is his hairline fucked up like that? Like, what do you do? Let me see him. Let me talk to him. Let me. Let me talk to him. Uzbekistan. Let's see. Yo. Let's go. Yeah, girl, what you no. Yeah, let me, why is his hair on What is it? How are you? Muchos gracias and get the Grieki Papito. What you giving? I am sorry. Duspis Krasham. Is you being cute? Like, like you are cute, but are you being I'm not playing around with y'all fucking fort. Like, don't get up here playing with me. Like, I don't feel like playing with them. What you giving? Oh, they Russian? <laughs> Miss Thing, was they really speaking Russian, though? He asked you, do you speak Russian? <laughs> God, the girl. Oh, no, don't speak fucking Russian, girl. No. Miss motherfucking thing. <laughs> girl. I don't speak that stuff, girl. What do you mean, girl? I've never been over there, girl. I don't know Putin or Vladimir. Girl. I don't know them peoples, girl. I don't know how to talk that stuff. Thank you, um, Poisonous. 
You guys, y'all, I am 4,000 beans away from my first box and I need to get to three. Bitches with good pussy is back on the app, y'all. Please get the hoes. You are so pretty. Thank you so much. Um, let I think I don't want to say your name wrong. Let it wait. Ladia, Ladea. Thank you. Um, wait, Ladida. Wait, yeah, Ladida44. Thank you, Isaiah Brown. Thank you, Car. Thank you, Carmel. Y'all, please get me to the box. Hi, mamas. Hi, baby. Thank you. Ooh, thank you, Toxic Healer. Thank you, Poisonous. Thank you, FDR. FDR Magic. Oh, thank you, Mama. Oh, thank you, Jazzy. Hot. Th See, there we go. We 3,000 beans away now, y'all. Come on, tear me up. Fuck with me. Fuck with a baddie. Um, thank you, FDR. All right, y'all. Somebody get in the queue. Let's really spark a conversation. Let's like, let's really talk. Let's talk about some real shit. Please don't get up here playing. You do not have to cam up just that like start a conversation. Um, I do not want to talk about ballroom tonight, hormones and motherfucking uh, transitioning. We do this all the time. Like, let's talk about something that's really different. If y'all got any kind of questions, comments or concerns, please get in the queue. Like I said, you do not have to cam up. Bitch, if you need advice, like, let's just have a regular live tonight. No shade. Thank you, Toxic Healer, Poisonous. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you, daughter. I love you, my only shower. That's my only daughter. What you giving? All right, we got one, y'all. Hey, Alexis. Hi, baby. You look really pretty tonight. Thank you. So do I not look pretty on all the other nights? Uh-uh, I just met you today. Oh, okay. All right, with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to click the follow button. I'm just a gifter. Um, but you said you wanted to spark a conversation, so I decided yeah. to come up here and ask. Okay. So I've been married for four years, and sometimes it's not easy, you know. Um, I just wanted to ask you what kind of advice do you have when it comes to relationships? Have you been in, like, a long-term relationship? I don't know. Like, yes, I'm actually married now. Let me just. Are you married? How long you been married? Uh huh. How long you been married? For four years. Oh, me too. I've been uh, married for four years. Okay, so let me just ask you like a few questions just to get so I can give you a good answer. Are you in the life? Like, I don't want to disrespect you. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm okay. Um. Do y'all live together? Yeah, we live together. Okay, so there's no really right answer for this. Um. I'm going to tell you why. When you first meet somebody, like my husband, like I live in Philly. He lives in um in Texas. When I met him, it's all peaches and cream. Y'all on the phone every day. Y'all fall asleep with each other on the phone. You know, you go visit him. He come visit me, whatever the case may be. Um, It's all love there. Like as time go past, as time go by, when you live with a person, you got to be with them every day, deal with their attitudes, see what they are like every day. You start to not look at them in the same light. Like you just start, y'all just naturally start to grow apart. So it's, it's not nothing that you are doing wrong or that he's doing wrong or that he don't love you anymore or you don't love him or you don't want to be with him or you looking for other things. It's just that I'm going to tell you one thing. Me and my husband, relationship was so much better when I lived in Philly and he lived in Texas and we visited each other. Everybody ain't made to live the fuck together. <laughs> no shade, bitch. <laughs> like when I first, like I am a very clean girl and I know I'm a clean girl, but like, let's just say I'm drinking a, a glass and I sit it down on a couch. He's coming behind me, picking up my shit. And I'm like, like, stop. What are you giving? Right. Like, you're making it me feel like I'm a junkie girl. Like, I'm a dirty bitch when I am the cleanest bitch you ever known. Let me get to it on my own time. I'm not going to leave this right. ass here for four and five days. Like, once I get up, I'm going to handle all of that. Everybody right. is not meant to live under the same roof. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't want yeah. you, I don't want you to make it seem like, Y'all relationship is just failed. Everybody's not made to live together. And sometimes when you really get to know your lover and their ins and outs and being, you'd be like, what the, this ain't it. Fuck it. 
You still young. That's not the yep. end of everything. Do you? So you moved to Texas? Yes, because my husband is in the Navy, so we got married. I moved to Texas. Like I, I come, I'm from here, so I come back and forth. That's why I have two places. Yeah, I live in Austin, Texas. You an hour away from me, yeah. No shit. Oh well. Um, oh, that's cool. Like Corpus Christi, you know, all of the things. Right. Um, but so y'all do live in together. Yeah, we live together. Yeah, when I first met him, I wasn't really shit. You know what I'm saying? I was in and out of jail. You know, doing stuff I ain't had no business in. Uh, you know, his love had healed me or whatever. And then so um, I got my CDL and I started working, you know. And, uh, you know, now I make more money than him. And, and honest answer. Thank you, know, you um, Mr. Biggs. Go okay. ahead. I was re I was sent okay. to my thank you. Go ahead. But I thank you so much for um, no, no, your no, advice. You, you, you look I'll amazing. Down because yeah, you, you, this story it's all right. Just to talk to you back now. Uh-huh. What, bitch? What girl? <laughs> Missy, what happened? Um, okay, well, he asked this question. I answered it. Y'all, let's move on. <laughs> girl, let's move on. You guys, please give the hoes. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I thought we, I wasn't really done with the conversation, but I appreciate him coming up here and showing me love. Y'all, anybody else? You do not have to cam up. You do not have to talk about your personal business, your relationship. Like, let's just... Come up here and have a regular conversation about some shit that's normally not talked about. Like, you know, ask a real bitch a real question, you know, and I'm gonna give you a real answer. Like, it's a lot of shit that we need to know. Like, yesterday I asked the question, like, when y'all, like, say, when y'all do y'all laundry and y'all wash y'all sheets and stuff, do y'all wash the sheets that's at y'all windows? Like, you know, the sheets that y'all got hanging from y'all fucking window, like, as curtains, do y'all wash them too? Cause that's all part of laundry. You know, bitch, you understand what I'm saying? Like, this was a legitimate question. I just want to know, like, do y'all wash your sheets, y'all comforters, and y'all pillowcases? Y'all do know it's sheets up at the windows. Do y'all wash them, too? That's all part of laundry. So that's a very good question. You know, those shits are not curtains for real. Those are really still sheets. And then y'all bitches don't even put the flat the flat sheets up at the windows. <laughs> y'all put the fitted ones on it. They be all crinkled up and turned in. Girl, they don't even... That's, your window is this tall. You know, a flat sheet will come straight down. Y'all put the fitted sheet on there, bitch. It hangs right here, girl. It don't... It be cut... Girl, it don't keep out no sun because it can't cover the whole window. Do y'all still wash them shits? Please gift the hose. What is going on? Uh, I got it in here. It's a, it, I put it up. It's in the closet. The TV. Y'all, please gift the host, you guys. Come on, y'all. Please send a bean. Do not be mean. Thank you, B-Cook. Y'all, I seriously need to get to a fucking box tonight. Like, it is too many of y'all on this live right now. Like, for y'all to be giving this. Please, if each of y'all, all 500 of y'all, send one fucking bean a piece, thank you, Arkansas Breezy. Like, we will be a better motherfucking nation as a whole. Please, y'all, sit it down. Matter of fact, I'm going to start getting y'all. Like, you want zero cents, girl. Bye, girl. Uh, yup, I got something I have to do. As soon as they come in, I got to just get them out. I hate when I got to give that. Thank you, Marla. Thank you. Thank you. I got you now. Yo, somebody please get in the queue. Come up here and start some shit. Let's have a very, very, very bingy fucking conversation. Excuse me, a bingy conversation tonight. Thank you, I got you now. Thank you, Dash, baby. Thank you, I got you now. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. You did wrong, so wrong. Thank you, Arkansas Breezy. Thank you, Dash. Yaya, yeah, yeah, are you still here? Thank you, um, thank you, here I go. Hi, Gunya's doll. Um, 
Do me another round. Just clear. Give me 50 people. Um, all jokes aside, y'all, and I'm not going to continue to talk about this. Like, if you are watching me on this live, please don't make it be weird. Like, if you watching me and you looking at me, like, you can send something. You don't have to give me your life savings. Like, please gift the host. I am a fucking host. Like, don't make it because then if I get, get my admins to kick y'all now and I'm being weird. Like, come on, y'all. If y'all rocking out with the live and y'all looking at me and y'all like, this bitch mad funny. Like, bitch, just send a bean. It's not really that motherfucking hard. It's not rocket science. Like, it's the girl. Thank you, Amber. Do whatever looks more realistic. Thank you, B-Cook, baby. Y'all, please make sure y'all go and get the Addy symbols, too. So when you come in my room, when you come in my live and stuff like that, I know you family. I know you've been here before. I know you've been rocking out with me. Like, bitch, I am back on a motherfucking app. I like you, babes. I'll follow you on IG the other day. Thank you. Wait, hold on. Who said that? Thank you so much. We love you. I love y'all too. Like y'all, I swear to God, when I took um last month off for a whole month, I popped in and out. But sometimes this app can be so overwhelming. Like if you are not a host and you don't understand what I'm talking about, if you are just somebody that come on here and just watch then you might not agree with what I'm saying, but sometimes it can be too much. Sometimes you don't, bitch, you don't always feel like getting on live every day, putting on a happy face, being funny, being talkative. Like as a person that been through so much in their life, like sometimes you don't really feel like talking to no fucking body. You don't want to open up to the world. I love you, Cam. Thank you, Cam, baby. Sometimes you want to just hold, have your peace and stuff. You don't always feel like talking. Like I'm not one of them bitches that like, be on the phone all day, talking on the phone, girl, what happened and all that stuff. Like, send me a text. Don't call my phone. Like, I'm one of the ones, bitch, I like to be alone. I like to be by my motherfucking self, bitch, all day, every day. I don't hang out with a bunch of bitches. I go out when I feel like it. When I go out, I take my own car because I know, bitch, when I'm ready to leave, I can leave on my motherfucking own. I ain't got to drop a bunch of couple bitches off first. So, with that being said, if you are a loner, then you understand exactly the position that I'm, that, I, that you know exactly where I'm coming from. Like, it takes a special kind of bitch to get on here and talk to people, complete strangers. You got to read negative comments. You got to beg for beans and do all of this stuff. I don't have that in me, you know, all the time. Like, sometimes it's draining. Sometimes a bitch might come up here and say, bitch, your part is crooked. Now my whole night fucked up because they told me my part crooked. Bitch, I just scratched the dandruff in this part right here and just had to put oil in there, girl. Somebody might tell me my part white and the bitch go wash your hair. And that'll fuck my whole night up and make me feel like, damn, I'm dirty or I need my hair done and all that stuff. When, bitch, I know I had this hair in for a month, bitch, and I know I got another week or two potential in her. So now I'm obligated to go take this out and getting a new weed like it, they play on you on this app thank you cam no shade it plays on you <laughs> miss motherfucking thing let me explain something y'all this app is a gift and a curse yes it's cute for the coin but miss thing they like to tear tear you down and play with you and stuff like that they bitch they'll get on here and be like bitch why your voice so deep bitch my voice is not deep bitch my my voice is raspy bitch i sound like every other hood philly bitch like you don't understand what i'm saying they'll get on here like playing with you and it'll really make you second guess like damn am i as beautiful bitch that i know i really am um like you know you gotta really take a break from this type shit so for y'all bitches that get on here and go live every motherfucking day of a whole year kudos to y'all kudos I ain't got it. Everybody don't wake up feeling fucking talkative. Every bitch don't wake up and want to share with the world how they day going, what they going through. I ain't never been one of them bitches that want to document every motherfucking minute of the day of my life. Like, I'll be seeing bitches on live while they at the doctor's office, bitch. Why they at the SPCA. Girl, why they getting blood drawn, bitch. Why they visiting the funeral. Like, girl, the, I'll be seeing bitches at the boat. Like, it'd be too much. Like, girl, at what point is you going to clip that camera, girl? Some shit's supposed to be kept private. Y'all bitches get into a fight with y'all best bitches and y'all best friends and be recording the whole time, bitch. I don't rock like that. 
If me and one of my girlfriends is having a fucking debate, bitch, case closed. Bitch, I'm shutting down everything. It's nobody's fucking business. Y'all bitches will really have an argument with y'all fucking Manny and be, still be on live. I ain't no fame whore like that. I think some shit supposed to be kept sacred. A piece of your life supposed to be kept private. I'm just one of them girls like that. I, I feel like, bitch, everything is not for everybody. Some shit is not supposed Everything is not for the fucking world to see. Is that weird? Or is that real? Somebody said, no, you talking real shit. Wait, no, that's what... I'm just keeping it a stack. Like, I have been watching people lives while they go pull up and fight. Bitch, I'm too old of a cat to pull up to a fight and fight while I'm on live. Bitch, what happened if the fight get out of hand and I got to poke you the fuck up and hit you, run you over with my car? At that point, this is evidence. It's recorded. Y'all bitches is where for that. If I get out here and scruff your bucket and monkey roll you in this corner right here outside the club in the back parking lot by the dumpsters, bitch. Miss thing where the cats is meowing at, bitch. Miss thing. Nobody's going to know about that. I'm going to tear you up and continue on with my night. I don't need no footage of that. Like, y'all bitches be doing the weirdest shit. Y'all bitches really be outside. Oh my God, this my favorite junkie. He be out here, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and give him $20 and bless him with the meal. Because I see him every night. He out here. He a good dude. Y'all filming you giving a, a junkie or a fiend or a homeless person $20 and giving him a meal. Why does that have to be documented? Weird shit. So y'all young bitches that's on here, don't, go away. Y'all not going to understand what I'm talking about. Every fucking thing doesn't need to be documented. And I'm really just keeping it a stack. Why does, like, you know, when you get at a particular age in your life, you want as much peace as possible. You don't want a bitch knowing too much about you. You want to be as low key and you want to fly under the radar because it's like that keeps people guessing about you. But well, damn, I ain't seen Shorty. She ain't been live in like a week. Like, I wonder what she doing. You don't, I don't never want to be in a position where a bitch know my every move. Now it's on trending tees. Now it's other people's content for a whole two weeks, bitch, that your baby, you just had a miscarriage or your baby daddy cheated on you, bitch, or you got evicted and all that because you live while you getting evicted or you asking your landlord please can you give me another week to pay my rent and y'all looking at the camera y'all i'm crumbs is sad yo i just gave him all i had like girl what what the fuck is wrong with y'all weird ass bitches do y'all be wanting sympathy a pat on the back i don't i don't get it i promise you i don't get that you have to be a special type bitch to get on live and cry If you sad, sis, why is you still on live? If you feel as though you at the point of tears, log off. Because I might make it make sense. Y'all, I know it's a, I know it's a thing because it's entertaining. I know it's a storyline. I know it probably give y'all publicity, more beans, more followers. But at what cost? Cause bitch, you gained a couple followers and you got a couple likes and a couple beans and they ran you up. But bitch, soon as you get into an argument with a bitch next week, bitch, you was just crying cause you got evicted from your house last week. I don't need no bitch miss thing reminding me of that. What turned into sympathy all? Oh, let me send her a few dragons cause she getting evicted girl. Her car got repo. Next week is a read. Like fuck is you talking about? How does this, how does any of this work? And I'm being dead ass. Make it make fucking sense. Um, y'all, please, can y'all please give the whole show? I really dead ass need to get to, like, come on, y'all. Um, I am literally a 1,200 beans away 
from my um my first box of the night, you guys. Please gift the hoes. Somebody just said immaturity at 69. Um, y'all, please sit it down. Please gift the hoes. Hi, Miss Virgo. Hi, Janae Rose. Um, oh, Mario, you've been in here. Hi, Ashley. Thank you, Tinkerbell. Y'all, please come on, y'all. Rock with me. Cause somebody sent me like two luxury cards so I can get to my first box. I'm definitely going to stay on here and rock out with y'all. Some things I really just don't understand. Like, I understand this app is for pure entertainment. You know, y'all be wanting to know the gossip and wanting to know the chats. Like, y'all have to give the hoes. Thank you, DC. I get it, but at what cost? Thank you, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Like, I mean, ooh, I want the ah, uh, and I want the ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Thank you, Amber Mitch. Like, You know, when you get to a certain age in life, you just want to be at peace. You no longer care about what people think about you. You no longer care about being the it girl. You know what the problem is? When you've always been the girl, you have nothing else left to prove. So I don't have to like, you know, like when you that girl, you've been that girl. I don't have to be on live every motherfucking day documenting everything, trying to make myself still feel relevant. Bitch, real bitches, that's real bitches and real, really be out here in these streets getting money. Bitch, they don't document none of that. That shit can have the potential to come back and bite you on your motherfucking ass. Bitch, I be in these streets. Bitch, I done traveled and, and board work from one city on the West Coast and drag. Bitch, I had to fly there to pick it up and drive back. I am one of those ones. Bitch, I'm forever locked in. Bitch, you ain't never catch a plane from BWI and take it to Cali, bitch, and you can't catch that plane back. You got to drive back. Where my real bitches? Y'all know what I'm talking about. That shit like that don't be documented. Somebody said, let them know, sis. Like, I'm being dead ass. Like, I don't be getting it. Okay, so throw it off. You are on zero cents. Please come back and send a beam. I will definitely give you all the information you need. Like, come on, y'all. I'm about to clip this live, y'all. They, they playing. Like, dead ass. Y'all starting to drag it. DC, exactly. Um, Hoppy Henson. Hi, Kimmy, baby. Where's all my Addies? Is my Addies in the building? Thank you, baby Jack Jack. Y'all, I am literally like 800 beans away from my first box. Please make it happen. Before I even start another um, topic or whatever the case may be, y'all, please get me to my first fucking box. Or this shit is about to be closet. Sure, I think it's Jeep. See, we trade, and he's going to love a little bit. Jay, see, I'm looking at him too short, but he said a nigga wrote the canoe. Let him hit this way. Shooting got beef, keep asking me to me. I can only make time for a gun, bitch. Hey, yay, yay, I'm all that. A little ass cream with a little ass whip, low key, she beating just a little bit.
Um, thank you, Big Yaya. Hi, Dallas Dior. Um, hi, Explosive. Where you been at? Hi, Mary J. Blige. Hi, y'all. Let me see who else just, um, came in. Y'all had the little, uh, flat iron, my little piece of hair, girl. She was starting to carry on. Um, am I lagging? Y'all, am I, um, hi, Puda. Am I lagging, you guys? Cause, cause my comments is not this and no. All right. So my comments is not moving. You said follow back. Isaac, did you send any, Isaac, um, now Isaac, girl, I ain't gonna kick you. Isaac, sit it down. You asking for a follow back and all of the fucking, like, what are you giving? <laughs> Y'all ain't came back on this app to be playing around with y'all tonight. Like, seriously. Like, what's going on? You need to close the box. Um, I need two um two luxury cars. I think they like a thousand beans. Um, and that's just my first box. I need to get the three. It's my second day back on the app. Like, show a bitch some love. And listen, y'all, not only that, y'all have to understand. Sweet Mary, Jesus, and Joseph. God damn you. Claw, mm -mm -mm. fucking mercy. Shit. This thing talking about, we have to have a thank you. Thank you so much. Bitch, we have to have a stern discussion. I am telling you. <laughs> Let me have a word with my motherfucking bitches right now. Girl, if you plan on transitioning and you trying to be a girl, I'm telling you now, bitch. This tucking process is some tease. It's very, very ghetto. Miss Thing, if you sit down the wrong way, if you maneuver and your seat the wrong way, bitch, the way your gas stream will clamp your balls in the tip of your situation and pull it that way, girl, it's some painful shit. This shit is not peaches and cream, bitch. I make this shit look good. Miss Thing, and where are my bitches at? Hold on. Where are my femme queens at? Don't your tuck act up on you at the worst fucking times when you out in public, girl, you standing in line, you getting a bitey eye to eat, girl, you with trade, girl, you can't shift on the new, the more you try to shift and try to shake it out, girl, you can't really just like peel it apart, miss fucking thing, why is it that one's tuck cuts up at the worst time when you know you can't like really be out in public and try to dig back there and <sighs> miss thing, and you know what the worst part about the whole thing is? Like, let's just say you really, really pinching real bad and it's burning, it's stinging, it got whelps and cuts up in your dick, balls, everything. When you go to take it out, it hurt even more. Like, you got to ease it down. Why is that? This is some dangerous shit, Miss Thing. Nobody should want to, nobody should want to campaign for being a, a, a one of the girls. No shade. Do you understand, bitch, Miss Thing, girl? This, you gotta be built for it. tough to be able to take one situation, push balls in the stomach, take the tip and pull it to the back, and then put something in this thing. That means you, you've been, you, you've been wearing boxers, boxer briefs, fruit of the looms all your life. Now you gotta have your dick up in your, the crack of your ass. It feels weird for the first four years. Like this is not nothing that one can get used to. Like, <laughs> It's very uncomfortable and uncompromising. What you giving? This shit is not, I'm, you have to be, you have to be really, really dedicated. <laughs> it's the only word I can come up with. You guys, like, seriously, let me stop playing. Um, being a girl is not for everybody. Like, you have to really, really be dedicated. Um, I say this all the time. Like, when you are used to being, a boy like half of your life and you decide to transition kudos to all my bitches that transition you know and want to live their life out loud i get it i agree 
but it takes a special type of bitch to wear a bra with some underwire in it. Like you feel like you in a straight jacket, like that bra, you feel conflicted, like you feel tight, like you a loony, like you in a loony bin, like you in a padded room. That shit don't feel good because you used to rocking out. You've been outside hooping, you know, shooting hoops, running track. You playing football, catch a girl, get a girl, ding dong Dixie with no shirt on. So imagine trying to have a titty attached to you and now you got a bra on you that's tight and it got wire underneath. That shit don't come easy. It never really, you can never get used to nothing like that. I ain't no real cisgender woman as soon as they get off of work from working, working a telemarketing job. Oh, bitch, they've been standing there, Miss Thing, at the supermarket, Miss Thing, ringing pictures up at Walmart and stuff like that. They, the first thing that comes off before the wig comes off is the bra. Bitch, you feel like you in a straight jacket. Why be giving that? No shit. All right, let me be serious. My my number one thing when I transitioned, because I knew for a fact I wanted to be a girl, so I was going full throttle with it. The only thing that it was making me want to turn back, like, it was the bra. It was earrings. It was chains. Like, now I can go to sleep and all of my jewelry is nothing. But can you imagine going to sleep with studs, earrings, and this little piece poking you? Y'all have to gift the hose. Thank you, uh, uh. Um, oh, ain't nothing wrong. So here's how this is going to work. You can watch me and I'll watch you. Y'all going to have to eventually go away or bitch, y'all can stay. But bitch, I ain't got to talk. Like, I just need to do my hours. I'm in Philly right now. Rashawn Nisha, I love you. Thank you, Anthony. Um, you said, when am I taking that out? Um, when you come do my hair. Um, I feel like if you, I feel like you being cute. Um, y'all please get rid of whoever that is. You saying you being serious? Um, I don't know, bitch, do it, do it need to come out? Is it that bad? Bitch, I thought she was still cute, girl. I just pressed her out, put a little oil up in that part. Like, girl, what you giving? First of all, bitch. Let me explain something to you. I am always a girl to keep it together. I know how to keep my hair for like two and three months, bitch, off a of pack hair. Um, and I'm, and I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it a fucking stat. Like, I know when it's time for me to take my shit out. <laughs> Don't feel like you just was coming for me a little bit. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rashanisha. You guys, please give the host. Yeah, yeah. If you are here, like, what is going on? I'm, yeah, yeah. Should I just clip it? Um, thank you, Coco. Yeah, yeah. Should I just go ahead and clip it? Like, I'm really not here. Oh, she said she really wasn't. As a girl, I'm from the old school. I only like really use pack hairs. I'm really not a bundle girl because, like, I feel like pack hair curls better. Like. Whether you get a bob, whether you get like long hair, do a um, beach wave and stuff like that. I'm just a pack hair girl. I came from that era. Um, I'm really not a girl that's really into long, long 30 inch hair. Like it's cute for a weekend. It's cute for like a week. I'm a girl that likes actual hairstyles. So I'm not a bundle girl. I know how to make my hair last for like two and three months. This is a glue one because it's on a, it's on a cat. It's on a stocking cat, like a quick weave. But if I have a sewing, um, let me tell y'all one thing, ladies. 
to make y'all hair last a really, really long time, just don't put no product in it. All of that, y'all wrapping y'all hair every night, that is really not good. I don't know who really told y'all that wrapping y'all hair is a good thing. When y'all wrap y'all weave every night, y'all are training y'all hair to go a certain way. And then, you know, you naturally sweat in your sleep. You, um, you, it's, your hair gets oily because it's matted and pressed together. Put y'all fucking hair in a bonnet at night and just press it out when you get up. All of that wrapping shit, it, it trains your hair to go a certain way. So let's just say you want to brush it this way, it's still going to go back that way. Don't put no product in your hair. I don't spray no oil sheen, no spritz in my hair. That's why it's always fluffy. It always moves. It naturally presses out and bounces back to life. I am firm on just putting it, putting your hair in a bonnet. I never wrap my hair. That is not a good... Yup, I like a, a little roots to be free. Right. And y'all ever notice... The longer you have your weave in, the more natural it look. Y'all see how my, the texture of my real hair, it kind of matches my weave now. Y'all know how, bitch, when you first get your hair done, bitch, yet your real hair, bitch, you got a motherfucking European straight um, fucking pack hair, and your hair is giving yakky kink twists. The more, the longer you keep your weave in, the more natural it looks. Any bitch from the hood will tell you that. The bonnet, when you, listen... When you put your bonnet on at night, it keeps the hair just hairing. When you wrap your hair, it makes your hair be pressed, like matted. And you know you sweat and you know it get oily, so it naturally starts getting like weighed down. It starts looking like a weave. When you just leave it and don't put no product in there, no spritz. The only thing product that you're supposed to be putting on your hair is in your part that make it separate, that make it still lay down and blend with your weave. Don't spray no oil sheen or no um holding spray in your hair. Your weeds will last a whole lot fucking longer if you don't wrap it and don't do that. I'll be on here really trying to give y'all the motherfucking tips to the game. I'll really be on here trying to give y'all the cheat code. Y'all just want to fight me on everything. If y'all have to get up every day... When y'all take y'all mining off, take your little flat iron and just press the little pieces out. Your hair will last a whole lot longer. Your hair don't last long when you wrap it every day or when you're constantly putting oil in there and you're constantly putting holding spray in there. It makes it tight. It makes it hard. It makes it frizzy. It makes it look like the bottom of the fucking broom. You ever sweep your floor, your floor with a broom that you had for two years, bitch, and it looked like the bottom of a, syn a synthetic wig? Like a bitch, like a, a little, like a cat, like a raccoon, like a raccoon tail, like a dead possum or a porcupine? Don't do that. Dead ass. All of them bundles and shit, that shit is overrated. Bundles don't hold a curl better than pack hair. This just ain't fucking rocket science. Like, what is going on? This motherfucking thing. I don't give a fuck what bitch tell you, oh girl, you still wearing pack hair? Yes, I still wear pack hair. I am an old school bitch. Um, bundles do not hold a curl like pack hair hold a curl. Bitch, if you was a curl this hair right now and put, you know, roll this at it or roll it up and put the bobby pin in it, my curls will last three days. Fucking bundles don't hold no curl like that. Y'all bitches, oh girl, you old girl. Y'all girls need to get in y'all bundles and stuff like that. Bundles do not hold a curl like fucking pack hair. The fuck is tea? Y'all, please give the hoes. Um, thank you, Anthony. Wait, but Anthony, you only on 52 beans. Like, what you giving? Gift the hoes. How bad am I really? Am I Michael Jackson bad? Like, bitch, or do I look bad? Like, what you giving? Wait, um, Golden Candy said, yes, I do here, and it doesn't. Um, so you, so you just see her say this. She's a hairstylist and she just agreed with me. And it's not a bad thing. I understand y'all girls, y'all new generational girls, like y'all like bundles, y'all like longer hair. Like, um, news flash, pack hair, outre, um, purple pack, milk, milk, some Milky Way. Um, you know, 
it naturally holds curls better. Like if you was to curl your hair with a with a wand curler, um, regular curlers, flat irons, it naturally holds your curls, but your curls will stay longer without you putting gotta be glue spray and isoplus spritz. It just naturally, genuinely holds a curl better. Pack here, I mean, um, bundles do not hold curls that long, you guys. And that's just on period. Um, thank you. Wait, who said that? Um, thank you, Toby. Y'all, I need to get to my next um box, y'all. Please, can y'all gift the hose? Please, you guys. It is really over 500 people in here, y'all. Can y'all please gift the hose? We can talk about a lot of other shit. Hi, a mystery baby. Yeah, yeah. They still in here being stubborn. Yeah, yeah. Get them out. Before I call my bitches and start the hi, Chinks handsome. Before I um call my bitches and get a um fem queen panel start started, y'all. You guys, please, can y'all get the what is going on? Hi, handsome. I love that nigga. Chinks, can you be my baby father? Bitch, that nigga fine. Bitch, I would have that nigga.